So in this video, we're going to talk about path and motion synthesis. So let's start by going to panels and we're going to click on path synthesis. And path synthesis is a very, very uh, nice way to um, make mechanisms um, that follow a path that you drew. So in the past, um, we made mechanisms based on um, the geometry of links and uh, link links, right? But this time we're going to draw an arbitrary path and then we're going to um, have motion gen basically make a bunch of mechanisms that try to um, that try to approximate the path that we drew, okay? So let's start by drawing a path. Uh, any arbitrary path, I'm going to draw a path that looks something like this, just like that. And then I'm going to click on run. And when I click on run, motion gen will create a bunch of mechanisms um, where the motion of a joint on the mechanism will, uh, or the path of a, the path of a joint on the mechanism will uh, very closely approximate the path that I drew. So as you can see, uh, this mechanism here is um, approximates it pretty well. Okay, so let's see some other ones. So motion gen came up with uh, 30, 30 different mechanisms that uh, closely approximates the path that I drew. So let's go to the next one. Uh, this one's not as good because uh, the path that motion gen came up with is that's not even a closed loop path. Uh, let's just see another one. Uh, this one's not that good either. This one is all right. This one is, this one's okay. Uh, this one is not the best. Not the best. Um, yeah, th this one's not bad either. Okay, so yeah, um, you can play around with this. Uh, you can draw your own path you, and then you can hit run and see what uh, motion gen can come up with. And uh, some other features are uh, you have emphasize here and then you have de-emphasize, which basically um, places uh, more or less importance on whether, uh, whatever path uh, you, know, you want to you know, place uh, more or less importance on, basically. Okay, so that's, that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. So let's move on to motion synthesis. Now, we're going to uh, start by going to panels, same place, and we're going to click on motion synthesis this time. Now with motion synthesis, um, motion synthesis is uh, pretty similar to path synthesis. Uh, the only difference is that uh, instead of uh, drawing an arbitrary path, uh, we're going to start by drawing uh, poses. Poses are basically um, positions where um, the coupler of the mechanism that you're trying to make has to go through uh, throughout its motion. Okay. And then, uh, so you can draw poses here, you can uh, draw point constraints, you can draw line constraints, and uh, toggle fixed and moving constraints, okay? So, a very common way to make a mechanism is to uh, have uh, five different poses. So basically five different positions that the coupler of the mechanism has to go through, okay? So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna click on draw pose, left click on my mouse on the canvas, and then a pose will appear. Now you notice here, um, when um, I'm still clicking with my left mouse, and before I let go, I can basically uh, rotate this pose. So I think that's good. That should be good. That should be good. That should be fine. And this is okay. Now this last one, I'm gonna toggle until I see a mechanism basically. So I see a mechanism here. And the coupler is basically, or the orientation of the coupler is basically indicated by um, uh, that green thing, uh, this green L shape here, over here where my mouse is. And basically, uh, the green shape basically has to um, go through all the positions of the poses. Not only that, it, ha it has to also has to be oriented the same way as them. Okay. So let's start over. And another good way to make a mechanism is to have uh, four poses and one line constraint. So I'm gonna draw four poses and I'm gonna draw one line constraint. constraint. And a line constraint uh, is basically a constraint where um, the fixed pivots of the mechanism have to lie somewhere along this line. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to pivot this until I see a mechanism up here. Okay, and same idea as the um, five pose mechanism. 
all the uh, the couplers of this mechanism all have to go through the poses that I have drawn, and at the same and with the same orientation too. Okay, and another cool way to draw a mechanism. Uh, or to create a mechanism is with uh, two poses and three constraints. So I'm going to do that, two poses, and then uh, three constraints. Uh, you know, I'm going to put um, two of the constraints over here, and then I'm going to draw another uh, line constraint out here. And then I'm going to draw, I'm going to use the toggle fixed and moving constraints like this, and it'll, again, uh, it'll make a, me a mechanism that goes through those two poses. Simple enough. Okay, and finally, uh, we can have uh, three poses and two pivot constraints. This, I'm gonna draw uh, point constraints, put one over here, put one over here, and there you have it. Okay, and uh, one final thing about uh, path synthesis is we have this uh, camera capture option here. I'm sorry about motion synthesis. Uh, you, we have this uh, camera capture option. Now, when you click on camera capture, um, if your computer has a webcam, it'll turn on, and you can basically um, move your finger around, and it'll the camera will uh, capture the motion, and then um, Motion Gen will try to create mechanisms based on whatever motion you uh, drew with your finger or whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's the end of that. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about joints and plane graphs.